You can quantum leap to your specific person. You could be with them in a relationship, married together tomorrow, in an hour, in the next few minutes, in this video. All you have to do is get into the belief of it. And to set this intention, so if quantum leaping in your reality is something you wanna do, right after giving a thumbs up on this video, comment down below, I am quantum leaping to my specific person, or I am quantum leaping to my marriage. I am quantum leaping to my relationship, or just put all three if you really wanted to kind of set your paces in that. But quantum leaping, or basically changing your reality overnight is available because we already have everything we could ever want alive within us right now. And so you definitely heard me say this before, maybe heard other people talk about it, your friends, your manifestation buddies say it, but truly you have the capability of expressing anything in your reality. So when it comes to a relationship, it sometimes feels like we have to work hard or try hard or do a lot of crazy things in order to make that happen. But that is just not the case, right? I know it feels that way. And sometimes we can express it in that way through a bridge of events and that's completely normal. But if you were someone who was like, I want to change my reality overnight, then know that this is doable. The one thing I would say, and usually the biggest factor in stopping people from quantum leaping is this idea that we sometimes don't actually want our reality to change overnight. Like think of your specific person, right? Coming into your life and asking you to be married or like totally almost skipping a bridge of events and waking up married to them or in a relationship. Most people <laughs> might not actually want it to happen that quick. So if you're someone who wants it to happen that quick, or if you wanna want it to happen really, really, really fast in a way that makes the most sense, then this is something we wanna do. But almost be very honest or true about exactly what you want, because that's how it's going to show up. And so one of those topics that I was mentioning, and I'll even show you an, an example of someone quantum leaping um, in a coaching session, but the the main thing when it comes to this like progression towards our specific person we always have conditions on it meaning that we feel as if we have to text them call them date them like this middle has to happen and so that's one thing we need to get over in order to manifest really really quickly because the more we're actually focusing on the middle or thinking that has to happen the more we're setting conditions Think about it in like a college class when you have to take a pre you have to take a course before you move into the next course or even in high school you have to take um, English one before you can take English two right so it's like that's what we're setting up as a condition but we if we're taking this example of the school we're writing the whole rubric of the classes so if you want to go straight into calculus. You can do that, like, right? It's all up to you. And I know even here, this perception is that it's harder, but really one is not harder than the other. We're just setting, I can't do this until we do this. So that is the biggest enemy to quantum leaping, okay? Because the more that we are putting conditions, saying, I can't do this until I do this, basically we're making a really long list of like, basically you title it, reasons I'm not going to quantum leap, right? And so what we need to do, there's two things we could do with that. Either satisfy this list if it's something you want, because again, maybe you don't want to instantly be married to your specific person. It's not taking the possibility that you can do that, but maybe you just don't want to do it. So you can either satisfy this list or remember that this list is not, no one's saying you have to do all these things, right? You can get married to your specific person tomorrow. Like, would you say that's not a possibility? Even though right now in our current state, it might feel like it's a hard or a it's seemingly difficult possibility, but it is a possibility nonetheless, because you have within you all of these possible outcomes, states, and expressions that you can have. And so the main idea in this concept of manifesting or quantum leaping and the way that I'm actually going to kind of explain it and make it seem really simple, it may, 
it totally explained the process for me when I started thinking about it in this way. And that's usually what happens when I like <laughs> tackle some problems, I have some like realization. And so if you guys know what a linear graph is or an exponential graph, I know, <laughs> don't, don't leave the video yet. <laughs> I promise this makes sense. So a linear graph is like when you're just like going up, right? So you, I'm not going to get into it because, <laughs> because I don't even know fully, but a linear graph is like going up in an upward slope, but it like continues at a normal rate. So if you think about like saving money, if you save $200 a month or something, your savings would go up like that, right? They would consistently gradually go up. And that's how we actually think of manifestation. The opposite of quantum leaping thinks manifestation has to be like that, right? So you're going up. Okay, we're getting closer to our relationship. We text more. We call more. We go on a date more. We do this. And then you're at this relationship once you achieve the top. Or the example of maybe walking up a mountain, right? That's linear most of the time because it's like a, as long as it's kind of like a straight path. But that's not how it is. That's our assumption of how it is. And so even though we assume it too and think it has to be that way, our mind creates it that way, but that's not how it is. Manifestation is more exponential. So I know I'm throwing, <laughs> I think these are all math terms at you. So this is a linear, so a straight line. Hopefully I can edit one in there. Linear is like that. So linear out of nowhere just goes crazy. So that's like compound interest, where if you get like 10% each year, at every year it's increasing. So you have $1,000 at the beginning, you have 1,100 and it keeps going up by 10% adding. And I know, I promise all of this makes sense. But so basically meaning your reality and manifestation is going to change really quickly overnight without you even thinking about it, okay? So your reality is gonna go zero to 100 rather than in incremental amounts. Okay, so when we approach it in the linear way, in the incremental amounts, like we're climbing a mountain, we totally cut off these awesome, quick, amazing quantum leaps towards what we want to do. Okay, because if you think, nope, I have to, there's no expressway, there's no elevator to the top of the mountain, I just have to walk the whole thing, then you're not even going to be looking and the elevator is going to be right next to you and you're not going to take it. But so, I guess that's a better example of this instead of <laughs> linear and exponential. It's like you're either taking an elevator to the top of the mountain or you're walking up it, right? Elevator's just gonna go straight up. Walking's gonna be gradual, I don't know, 45 degrees. I don't know, guys. I didn't always love math, I will tell you that much. But so that's manifestation. Manifestation is exponential. You have a life with, think of Neville Goddard, think of Joseph Murphy, you already are that which you want, you're just expressing or not expressing it. And so the reason I even bring this up is that, again, we're either supporting these awesome quantum leaps to where we wanna go, or we're not. And I'll give you examples of how every single time I've manifested or helped someone else manifest, it's usually been a exponential quantum leap, kind of quantum jump to where we wanna go. Because technically, and I'll make another video on this, but technically you can only ever quantum leap to what you want, okay? Because you can only ever experience right here and right now, right? You don't experience the future, you don't experience the past. Those are all within your imagination. Everything happens right here and right now. So there's just going to be a point in which you actually totally jump into the new state and then you see it right here and right now. Because if I were to ask you, at what point are you going to be with your specific person? Is it in the future? How, where are you going to feel it? And you're going to say, well, right now, right? So <laughs> you're, now we're getting into this idea that you know for a fact you already have alive within you everything you could want, including your specific person, no matter how it's looking on the outside. So again, things change really fast in manifestation because as you're getting closer to the state, things compound towards it. And so this is something that I always want you to keep in mind um, because obviously it's your reality, but then two, it's much more empowering, okay? When you think you have this long mountain ahead of you that you have to go to, how hard, disempowering, and difficult does that seem? You're gonna say really, really difficult, 
really hard. I have to take time. I have to start now and it's going to take years to do. No, that's not how it works. It's exponential. You're going to start going up the mountain and see an elevator. You're going to take that, start going up the mountain again, take another elevator or take an elevator straight to the top. Like, right. It's whatever you believe that you can see. So if you think about it in the way of if you're walking up a mountain, not expecting there to be any elevators, you will not see or find any elevator. So now everyone's gonna go out after this video and manifest an elevator on a mountain now, um, but <laughs> that's that's your reality. And it's, so stop thinking it has to take a long time. Stop thinking it has to be difficult. Stop thinking it has to be anything but easy and effortless. Now I'll give you an example of this, how right before if this person was in this mindset, well, they were in this mindset because we were working together to then see this outcome but it's, it's a really, really cool success story for Valentine's Day. So I'll put it up on the screen and here's what they said. I'll read it to you. So this is again through email coaching. They said, hey, Kyle, I have an update for you today and I don't want to wait to share it with you. I actually am spending Valentine's Day with my specific person. It's a funny story. And Monday, he let me know that he had no plans for Valentine's Day. And then they go into this really, really cool story about things aligned and they basically again, quantum leaped to where they want to go. Okay. And so on the surface, you're probably thinking, Kyle, this doesn't really seem like a quantum leap. Like what were they doing before that? That made it a quantum leap. I will tell you, <laughs> this is literally in the email they sent before. Okay. So this is such a cool example of a quantum leap. So here's what they wrote in an email before this point. So this point was yesterday, Valentine's Day. They sent me this. And this was in the previous email, literally right before this one. Okay, you ready? So they said, quote, I feel like all the progress I made in the past few weeks is gone. I'm really trying my best, but it's so hard for me to live in the end at the moment. Think about that. To go from that, and I think it was just a few days later, it was less than a week because that was the last time, that's the maximum time I could ever respond to an email or usually f like five days is maximum. So it was like, that was literally within a few days. And they go from that to then, hey Kyle, I have an update. I'm spending Valentine's Day with my specific person. And it's like, that's, that's the possibility of that quantum leap. And so I'm pretty sure um, in the email, I even talked about this concept specifically of exponential jumps as your reality is going, you're going to jump massively in very quick times and you need to be open. You need to be aware of it because, and looking out for that opportunity and not blocking it off. Cause again, like I was saying, usually that's how I've seen manifestation happen where you like jump and go to a outcome that is really great much bigger than what you've had because of your change in state. At least that's what it's been for me. And that's usually what happens in coaching sessions as well. So if you're not experiencing this, I would keep an eye out more for it and you're going to see it begin to happen. Because again, a few days they go from this, literally saying, I feel like all the progress I made in the past few weeks is gone. Think about that. Go into that state. Have you felt that way before? I felt that way before, but think about that. Go into that feeling that you had. How do you feel to then know? And if I would have told you, if I told this person in a couple days, you're going to be spending Valentine's Day with your specific person, even after feeling all this, what would you say to me? You would say that's unbelievable. That's you would literally refer to that as a quantum leap. And it would seem so difficult or hard, but it's alive within you. You can do it right here and right now. There's not literally what's stopping you from doing that. Okay. And so this is something I want you to remember all the time. Again, manifestation isn't linear. It's exponential, meaning you don't have to slowly progress up a line and then, oh, after a year or two, you get with your specific person. It's exponential. You're jumping, you're finding elevators to the top. You're taking like, um, I don't know, rocket ships to the top. Like there's a rocket ship just chilling on the mountain. And we overlook it when we think it has to be hard because we usually say things like this and tell me if this has ever been you in the past. Oh no, that's too good to be true. Oh no, that's too easy. 
things like that. Like the, it's too good to be true. That's anti quantum leaping massively. And so never say that because it's not too good to be true. This reality is here for you. And if this, so this has happened, you literally witnessed me talking about this quantum leap and this is in your reality. So you can do the exact same thing. If this person could say a few days before, I feel like all the progress I made in the past few weeks is gone. And then say, I'm actually spending Valentine's day. I have a quick update for you. <laughs> That's, <laughs> that's, that's just crazy. That's just awesome. And even really, so if you feel like quantum leaping is hard, hopefully this idea takes you out of that state because it doesn't have to be hard. I know still it's perceived hard, but it always is ourselves stopping it, which I know again, sounds funny, but it is the way if we're viewing it as linear, that's going to be something that's stopping our quantum leaping. Because again, you're going to refer to anything good happening as too good to be true, I can't handle it, it's not for me, that must be for someone else, right? No, you are a success. You are quantum leaping. You even wrote it right after liking this video, right? You wrote in the comment section below, I am quantum leaping to my specific person. And that intention is the greatest thing that you can begin setting, basically setting this goal of I'm doing this. I already did this. You know then, because you can't say that unless you know you have the possibility of it. And then it's going to begin growing a seed within your mind, especially after the most important thing is the like on the video. <laughs> but you're going to start growing a seed within your mind of like abundance and possibility. Because you're going to be like, actually, why can't I quantum lead to my specific person? And you're going to be on the lookout and you're going to see and manifest ways. You're going to manifest those elevators, those rocket ships to the top of the mountain. Um, so if you guys did have any questions on this, um, below your comment of I'm quantum leaping to my specific person, um, put any of your questions. If you did want to um, reach out to me, just head over to my uh, website, which is uh, kyleaugustcoaching.com. I'll put it down below here. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by today. Hopefully, hopefully everyone loved the 14 days of love. I still have um, other, <laughs> which... I feel like I should just put them all in one video, but I have other cool uh, Valentine's Day success stories that I'll be including. So hopefully you guys aren't out of the holiday spirit yet um, because I had all these like cool, awesome plans and then I got sick, which wasn't really good. If you guys were in my live, uh, cause I'm, oh, I did a live yesterday for all my members. Um, so if you wanna become a member and we're meeting again on Sunday and I had everybody in the members set an intention. So you can actually go watch that video right now in the members tab set an intention for what they're going to manifest for Sunday. And so I'm excited. Join, join in if you want. Come in. We're all going to talk and have fun. And basically, it's going to be like a coaching session together. So definitely check that out and set your own intention. So what do you want to manifest by Sunday? Literally set that intention. And that is the greatest thing that you could ever do. Uh, thanks again so much. And again, if you are so, if you're a member, so each day I do like a guided meditation, I'm still doing the guided meditation. So today I'll have another one out that wasn't just for the 14 days of love. I'm going to try to do it every single day because I think it's, uh, I think it's really fun, really exciting. And let me, let me know too, any of the members, what kind of meditations did you like? Do you like affirmation meditations? Do you like um, visualizations or like putting you into a state or a scene with your specific person? Or do you like more of like, because I did one yesterday where basically with Cupid's arrow, so you shoot, your SP gets shot with Cupid's arrow <laughs> to absolutely fall in love with you. So let me know all my members. So blue stars, or if you're not a member, what kind of visualizations are absolutely awesome for you? And then I'll think about even including some, because um, I, I would like to include them on my main channel outside of the members, but YouTube doesn't like when I upload more than one video a day unless it's in the members. Um, so let me know all of your thoughts below. Thanks again so much for stopping by and I can't wait to see you in the next video tomorrow.